Welcome. We're going to go ahead and get started this morning. On time. I believe in starting on time. Welcome to the 2022 WCC Award Ceremony. We will be live broadcasting the ceremony over the Tiger TV Facebook page both this morning and this afternoon. Thank you to the video production class and Mr. Wallace for making this available. It will also be available for viewing after the ceremony is over, so if your parents didn't get to see it, you can pull it up later and watch it with them as well. In honor of Teacher Appreciation Week, I would like to thank our WCC teachers for their hard work and dedication for our students. Students, you should take a moment this week to thank your instructors. They put in many hours so that you can have meaningful learning opportunities. Today we have several administrators and counselors from our area schools that have joined us. Thank you for joining us and we appreciate your support. If you are here, would you please stand so we can recognize you? Thank you. Without your partnership, we would not be able to do the things that we do and serve your students. Today we would like to recognize the work and accomplishment of our students. This is my favorite day of the year because we get to recognize all the great things that students are doing. This morning we will be presenting scholarships, recognizing students in our student organizations, recognizing student performance, awarding the Missouri CTE certificate, and inducting students into the National Technical Honor Society. We have 58 inductees this year, and 23 will be inducted this morning. To start the celebration, the Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Haley Breedlove, a SkillsUSA officer. Please stand, everybody. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A little housekeeping items before we get started. When your name is called for an award, please come up on the left hand side, or the right hand side, your right hand side. You'll get your award, you'll exit on this side, and then at the bottom of the stairs, you will get your picture taken. Those pictures will be available on our Facebook page by next Monday that your parents can download and you can print. So please make sure you stop in front of the um, WCC board down there and get your picture taken. At this time, scholarships will be presented by Mr. Smith. Good morning, everyone. It's always a privilege to uh, reward some hardworking students. So uh, this year, the WCC is thrilled to be presenting $8,750 in scholarships. And this money is made possible due to the generous supporters of the Cary Payne Golf Tournament and the DECA store, uh, which Ms. Arnold runs at the WCC. This morning, $4,750 will be presented. And so if you or your parents or anyone has been involved in the golf tournament, either as a whole sponsor or uh, participating, uh, we really thank you for that. So at this time, I'm, I'm going to call several names. When I call your name, if you would come up to the, uh, the stairway here, and then I'll have you come up and tell you what you are receiving. Uh, Mason Skidmore, Ashley Baker, Abigail Black, Kyle Bassett, Nathan Egan, Caleb Zakes, Abigail Shattuck, Ivani Jones, Kenzie Lowe. So I'm going to start with the tool scholarships. We have several of those. And we're going to start with, uh, we have everybody? Okay. All right. The first tool scholarship is in the amount of $250, and it goes to Mason Skidmore from Lakeway. <laughs> the next tool scholarship 
goes to Ashley Baker from Dixon High School. And that's in the amount. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to give you the amounts here. Uh, Mason's was $250, Ashley's was $750. The third tool scholarship goes to Abigail Black from Richland High School in the amount of $750. <clears throat> Next, we have several academic scholarships, and the first one goes to Kyle Bassett of Dixon High School for $250. Nathan Egan, Dixon High School, $250. Caleb Zakes, Dixon High School, $250. Abigail Shattuck, Crocker High School, $500. Ivani <laughs> Jones, Dixon High School, $500. <laughs> Kenzie Lowe, Crocker High School, $1,000. Students, thank you very much. Uh, we're very proud of you. And if I could ask all of you to exit right, except for one student, and that's Kyle Bassett. Everybody else can, can exit right at this time. Let's give him one more round of applause. <clears throat> we have a scholarship uh, from the Fallen Brothers, and that goes to Kyle Bassett from Dixon in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations. In addition, the WCC would like to thank the following businesses for their partnership. Each of these partners employed with a WCC student this spring as part of our internship program. If we have a representative here, please come to the stage to be recognized as I call your business name. Do we have anybody here from Lakeside Trust Company? Okay. Detroit Tool Metal Products. Okay. And I believe we do have uh, Mrs. Inky here from May Blay Construction LLC. If she could come up to accept that, that would be super. At this time, Mr. Klutz and Mr. Wallace will recognize our Skills USA students. Okay, um, Skills USA, uh, we're representing uh, that, and Mr. Struby is going to help me pass out certificates. Mr. Wallace is busy with the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, today, we're going to recognize those that competed in our district and state. Um, so, if you hear a gold medalist in districts, that means they won districts and they get to move on to compete at state. If they got a gold medal at state, there's 10 of them that got gold medals at state, and they're competing. Uh, in nationals in Atlanta, Georgia in June. So that's what we're passing out this morning. Abigail Black, and if you could just come forward, get your certificate, and then go get your picture taken. And she was a silver, silver, silver medalist at state in nail care. Gold medalist at district, Savannah Blackburn. Gold medalist at district, Madeline Butler. 
She also received a sil silver medalist. South, in our South Central District, sil silver medalist, Damon Carter. He also was a state bronze medalist. District bronze medalist, Autumn Cook. <laughs> District silver medalist, Hannah Crossland. <laughs> Gold medalist in television production at State, Leighton DeMello. Silver medalist at state, Kaylee Douglas. Gold medal in districts, S silver medalist in districts, and silver medalist at state, Emily Esp. Silver medal in districts, Gold medalist at state, Isaiah Fajardo. <laughs> Silver medalist at districts, Fiona Hill. <laughs> Silver medalist at districts, gold medalist at state, Ella Mathis. Gold medalist at districts, silver medalist at districts, gold medalist at state, and bronze medalist at state, Tristan Mincer. <laughs> gold medalist in districts, Michaela Michaels. Bronze medalist at state, Michaela Michaels. Gold medalist at districts and silver medalist at districts, Christopher Moore. Silver medalist at districts, Brianna Moat. Gold medalist at districts, gold medalist at state, another gold medalist at state, Mina Newsom. Gold medalist at state, Lucian Romero. <laughs> Bronze medalist at districts, Maxine Russell. <laughs> Silver medalist at districts, Kaylee Shelton. <laughs> Gold medalist at state, Kaylee Shelton. <laughs> Bronze medalist at districts, Kirsten Tanner. <laughs> Gold medalist at districts, silver medalist at districts, and a silver medalist at state, Ryan Taylor. <laughs> silver medalist at districts, silver medalist at state, Chance Eastman Towns. <laughs> silver medalist at districts, Joseph White II. Gold medalist at state, Carson Whittle. And gold medalist at state, Ethan Ratcher.
congratulations and a great job. The next part of our awards ceremony is recognizing student achievement. Students will be recognized if they earned a work key certificate, which is awarded in four different levels, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. We will also be um, recognizing students who will receive the career ready diploma. To meet this, students must not have been absent more than 10 days per school year or 20 days for a two year program. No semester grade lower than a B. Master a minimum of 80% of core competencies. Must be a program completer and receive recommendation from their instructor. Each teacher also has the option of choosing up to two outstanding seniors and two outstanding juniors who exemplify the highest degree of professionalism in their program area. We will start with the Advertising Design Awards and Mrs. Groves will present those. Hello, my name is Mrs. Groves and I teach advertising design. Today we're gonna to recognize a few of our students. If I could have Donovan, Jack Aloni, go ahead and come on up. He will be receiving the Career Ready Diploma. Kenzie Humphrey is not here today, but she's receiving the Career Ready Diploma and the Bronze Work Key Certificate. <laughs> Haley McMillan, Career Ready Diploma and Bronze Work Key Certificate. <laughs> Brianna Moat, Career Ready Diploma and Silver Work Key Certificate. Congratulations. Let him catch up a second. Abigail Shattuck, Career Ready Diploma and Bronze Work Key Certificate. Congratulations. Mackenzie Spangler, Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Key Certificate. And I have one more award, and that is for my most outstanding senior, which is Ashley Baker. There you go, Ashley. Congratulations. Mr. Jeter will now present the Auto Collision Technology Awards. Good morning, everybody. Receiving a career ready diploma and a bronze work keys, Ryan Harris. <laughs> Receiving a career ready diploma and bronze work keys, Jackson Mace. Uh, receiving, receiving a career ready diploma and a bronze work keys, Wilhelm Pfeiffer. And receiving a career ready diploma and a gold work keys, Trenton Pinkston. And I'd also like to uh, hand out my Outstanding Student Awards, uh, my junior, Trenton Giovanelli, and my senior, Wilhelm Pfeiffer.
Mr. Jones will now be presenting the Auto Service Technology Awards. Good morning. I had a great group of students uh, this last year. Uh, it was uh, uh, a real honor to have them, having them in my class. Uh, what I'd like to do right now is I'd like to start with uh, Chris Sheedel. He is receiving a silver work key certificate. Mason Skidmore is receiving a gold work key certificate. Haley Breedlove will receive the Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Key Certificate. <laughs> Riley Ellis will receive the Career Ready Diploma and Silver Work Key Certificate. <laughs> Nicholas Goins is going to receive the Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Key Certificate. Trace Moon will receive the Crew Ready Diploma and Bronze Work Key Certificate. And then I'd like to do my uh, outstanding students. Uh, my seniors, I had two great seniors in the morning, and those would be Haley Breedlove and Riley Ellis. And I had, a, I had a really outstanding group of juniors this year. It was really, really tough. Uh, but um, my pick for my outstanding student goes to Gunnar Wilson. <laughs> Mr. Schaffner will now present the Commercial Printing Awards. Good morning, I'm Brian Schaffner and this is my 20th and last award ceremony. I don't know if I should jump up and down or what, but anyway, I have several students, all seven of my morning seniors are getting awards this morning. Cole Bennett is receiving the Career Ready Diploma and Bronze Work Key Certificate. Savannah Blackburn is getting the Career Ready Diploma and Silver Work Key Certificate. <laughs> Autumn Bomarito is getting the Career Ready Diploma and the Bronze Work Key Certificate. <laughs> Keith Fisher is getting the Career Ready Diploma and a Bronze Work Key Certificate. <laughs> no hugging, Keith. No hugging. <laughs> Mina Newsom is getting the Career Ready Diploma and Silver Work Key Certificate. <laughs> Gavin Schuler is receiving the Career Ready Diploma and Silver Work Key Certificate. <laughs> and Kaylee Shelton is receiving the Career Ready Diploma and Silver Work Key Certificate. And my most outstanding students, I'm going to give them just a second to get back around here, and if I can turn the page. <laughs> um, my junior, the, you, you like to have a junior that comes to school every day and is ready to go to work and is excited about doing anything new, and that junior is Chloe Knoll. <laughs> my two seniors, I have two seniors, I have... Uh, Savannah Blackburn and Mina Newsom that are my outstanding seniors. And Savannah, Savannah's the one student that's ready to line something up to print every day when we do it. And Mina is going to be the state of Missouri's representative in Atlanta for Skills USA Nationals this year. Yes, yours. Thank you. And Mr. Struby will come up and present the Computer Hardware Awards. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mr. Struby, and I am the computer hardware and networking instructor. 
Um, unlike Mr. Schaffner, this is not my 20th year, but I have about 20 years left, so I'll be here a while, so get used to seeing my face. Um, I'm going to call my students up. Uh, first up, Lucian Romero, Silver Work Key Certificate. Next up, Chelsea Vena, Silver Work Key Certificate. Next up is Jessica Koval, Career Ready Diploma and Silver Work Key Certificate. Next up is Isaiah Fajardo, Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Key Certificate. Congrats, sir. Next up, Nathan Johnson, Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Key Certificate. Congrats, sir. Next up, Brandon Long, Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Key Certificate. Congrats, Brandon. Ashton Price, Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Key Certificate. Congrats, Ashton. And lastly is Joseph White, Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Key Certificate. Joseph is also my most outstanding senior. Um, he is his local FFA president. He was a student leader. He was my student ambassador. He was a skills competitor. And through all those things, he still was an amazing student in my class. So I just want to thank uh, Joseph for being an outstanding senior. Congrats, sir. <laughs> Next up will be the amazing Mrs. Hefton with CIT. Good morning. Um, May is the time of year as a teacher, we kind of get to go and reflect on all the good things that have happened this last school year. Uh, and I'm extremely grateful for all of the awesome students I've had and the joy of coding they bring to our classroom every year. So I just want to say thank you to you guys for the dad jokes, hashtag Ryan Reynolds number one fan, and the hive mind, all of that. And I hope you've enjoyed CIT as much as I've enjoyed having you. So for our first CIT award, Ashton Neer has earned a silver work key certificate and Microsoft certification in C-sharp development. Next up is Trey Pointner. He's earned a career ready diploma bronze work key certificate, and he is Microsoft certified in C-sharp development. <laughs> Next up is Tyler Stevenson. He's earned a career ready diploma, platinum work key certificate, and he is now certified in Microsoft C-sharp development. And next is Caleb Zakes. He's earned a career ready diploma. He's earned a silver work key certificate and he is certified in Microsoft C Sharp development. All right. All right, these next two students, they really depict professionalism through their student leadership roles, their work ethic in the classroom, their quality of products that they continue to produce over and over, and their mentorship. They're always willing to help their classmates with anything that they need, share their knowledge. They're really supportive of our learning community, and I've loved having them in class today. So I'd like to introduce you to CIT's most outstanding junior, who's also placed second at State Skills USA, and come see us, Emily Espy. And for our outstanding senior 2021-2022 CIT student, come up here, Trey Pointer. Mr. Click will now present the Construction Technology Awards.
Good morning. I'm Danny Click. I teach the uh, construction technology class. I'd like to recognize uh, the following students um, for career readiness, diploma and silver work key certificate, uh, Richard Carver. Thank you. Uh, Blaine Hendricks, Career Ready uh, Diploma and Silver Keyword Certificate. Yeah, Blaine. Uh, Draven Houston, Career Ready Diploma and Bronze uh, Work Keys Certification yeah. Certificate. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan Lofton. Career Ready Diploma and Bronze uh, Work Key cer Certificate. And then uh, Anderson uh, Wagner, which uh, he's receiving the Platinum Work Key Certificate, but he's not here today, so I just wanted to recognize him. And then my outstanding uh, students, um, Richard Carver. Where do you go? And Senior Draven, Houston, I'm sorry. And my outstanding uh, junior, uh, Gavin Vineyard. Uh, next up is uh, Miss Parker with uh, cosmetology. Thank you. Hey guys. All right, we have a couple awards to give out. The first one is Ethan Ratcher, and he gets a silver work key certificate. <laughs> Abigail Black, career ready diploma and a platinum work key certificate. Abby Latham, Career Ready Diploma and a Bronze Work Key Certificate. <laughs> Ella Mathis, Career Ready Diploma and a Bronze Work Key Certificate. <laughs> and Tiffany McComb, Career Ready Certificate. My most outstanding junior award goes to Janie Roop. And my most outstanding senior goes to Abigail Black. They tell me I forgot Kaylee. I looked right over. Kaylee got a career ready diploma and a bronze work key certificate. Sorry, Kaylee. <laughs> no. <laughs> So sorry. I just want to take a minute to, take, to thank all of the people that come in and let us do their hair or their fingernails or their face or whatever it is. Um, thanks to the teachers for also allowing that. And up next is John Dye with Culinary Arts. Good morning. Uh, I have uh, three graduates from our program this year. And we're going to start with Fiona Hill with a silver work key certificate. And ACF certified. Michaela Mickles with a gold work key certificate. And an ACF graduate. Madeline Butler. Uh, ACF certified, career ready diploma, and a gold work key certificate. Oh, just hang on. Just stay here. All right, Maddie is also our most outstanding senior. And a wonderful group of juniors. Uh, and this year, our most outstanding junior goes to Star Slate. Right. 
And Mr. Pruitt will now present the English Four Words. Well, I have to say this has been one of the most outstanding years that I've had here. Um, my classes are just wonderful. I thank you guys so much for the, the great year that we've had, but I do have a couple of just outstanding students, and when I look at this for my class, it, it does come down to professionalism, but it also comes in comes down to those students who are really putting that little bit of extra work for me, um, who just go above and beyond. And so for my outstanding junior award, Haley Club. And for my outstanding senior, Mr. Riley Ellis. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. And now Mrs. Williamson will come to present the Health Science Awards. Good morning. I'm Susan Williamson, and I just want to take a moment to say what a wonderful group of students I had this year. These are our future caregivers. Um, they're going to be nurses. They're going to be CNAs. They're going to be PCAs. They're going to be paramedics, uh, physical, speech, occupational therapists. So they'll be taking care of us. So uh, Tanner Alexander, um, career ready diploma and gold work key certificate for my area high school. Ramsey Cruz, Career Ready Diploma and Bronze Work Key Certificate from Plato High School. <laughs> Haley Humphrey, Career Ready Diploma from Iberia High School. <laughs> Ebony Jones, Career Ready Diploma and Silver Work Key Certificate from Dixon High School. Kinsey Lowe, Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Key Certificate from Crocker High School. <laughs> Hannah Moore, Career Ready Diploma and Bronze Work Key Certificate from Iberia High School. <laughs> Natalie Plemons, Career Ready Diploma and Silver Work Key Certificate from Iberia High School. Abigail Pauley, Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Key Certificate from Dixon High School. Erin Thomas, Career Ready Certificate and Silver Work Key Certificate from Richland High School. Aaron. Alexa White, Career Ready Certificate and Bronze Work Key Certificate from Lakeway High School. And Jordan York, Career Ready Certificate and Silver Work Key Certificate from Lakeway High School. And so my morning student, um, this student, my outstanding senior, uh, she's a natural caregiver. She quickly mastered her medical skill set which enabled her to perform really well in the clinical setting. She interacted really well with her patients and I was given outstanding feedback about her from our industry partner staff. She learned early on how to study for medical exams as evidenced by her test scores. She is currently utilizing her industry credentialing of a CNA as her job and she plans on continuing her education to become a registered nurse. I'm so excited for her future. Natalie Plemons. Could you come forward, please? <laughs> Mr. Rome will now present the Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning Awards. Morning, everyone. Uh, Joseph Baker will be receiving a bronze work key certificate Joseph also passed his EPA Universal for uh, refrigeration safety, and he also passed his OSHA 10 certification. Thank you, Joseph. Aaron Ogle, he was a Platinum Work Key Certificate. 
he passes OSHA 10 certification and he also passes EPA certification. <laughs> Jaden Thomas, bronze work certificate, OSHA 10 certification. Brian Taylor, he received a career readiness diploma, gold work teeth certificate, EPA universal certification, and OSHA 10 certification. He was, he was also my outstanding senior as well. Receiving my outstanding junior award uh, from Dixon was Luke Roach. Up next, Mr. Rim uh, from Light Duty Diesel. Good morning. I've got uh, five students receiving awards this morning for the Light Duty Diesel program. The first up is Dylan Steffi with a Bronze Work Key Certificate. And I have Evan Allen with a career ready diploma and a bronze work key certificate. Then I have Hunter Steele with a career ready diploma and a bronze work key certificate. Then I have Hunter Wall with a career ready diploma and a silver work key certificate. And then my most outstanding student award for junior goes to Jace Gear from Crocker, He's a hardworking kid. And now we have Mrs. Arnold presenting the marketing awards. I'd like to introduce you guys to uh, Emma Ray Hahn. Emma Ray is my outstanding junior in the marketing program. If she'll come on up here. So Emma Ray goes above and beyond. She always gets everything done. Uh, she is an area student. The rest of my students will be recognized this afternoon. But Emma placed first at districts with DECA in her, internet, in her independent business plan, and she placed fifth at state. She did a phenomenal job doing her business plan, and I can't wait for next year to see what happens with, as she becomes a senior. So thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Hoffman, who will now present the Mason Area Awards. That'll be nice. Good morning. I have three awards today. Uh, first up, I have Hunter Paddock receiving a career ready diploma. Next, Logan Rodden receiving a career ready diploma and a bronze work key certificate. And Ben York receiving a career ready diploma. Ms. Wessel will now present the math awards. Good morning. We do a variety of math skills for all the programs, so this is always a tough decision every year. It's not just their math ability, but it's also their work ethic, their responsibility, and how well they're willing to work with their teammates or classmates. Um, this year, the outstanding juniors is Luke Roach and Wes Cardwell. Thank you. <clears throat> 
uh, seniors is Richard Carver. And Anderson Wagner is not here today. Mr. Wallace will now present the video production awards. Good morning. I have several students I would like to recognize. Uh, I'd first like to recognize Dominic Barnett, Bronze Work Keys Certificate. Okay. Next, Damon Carter, Silver Work Keys Certificate. Next up, Britton Davenport, uh, Bronze Work Keys Certificate. Next, Chance Eastman, Gold Work Keys Certificate. Next, Rocky DeMello, Career Ready Diploma and Bronze Work Keys Certificate. Carson Whittle, Career Ready Diploma and Gold Work Keys Certificate. And finally, I'd like to recognize my outstanding junior uh, from my program this year in the morning. This is, uh, he's a really good kid. He impresses me. This is Tristan Menser. And you've got your type set on. I love it. Good job. All right, now. Mr. Rodden will present the Welding and Manufacturing Awards. Good morning. Okay, we'll start off with Wyatt Kaiser, Bronze Work Key Certificate and American Welding Society, GMAW and FCAW certification. Kyle Bassett. Career Ready Diploma, Gold Work Key Certificate, and AWS, or American Welding Society, GMAW, and FCAW certification. <laughs> Elijah Cochran, Career Ready Diploma, Silver Work Key Certificate, and American Welding Society, SMAW, GMAW, and FCAW certification. Nathan Egan, Career Ready Diploma, Bronze Work Key Certificate, and AW, American Welding Society, GMAW, FCAW certification. <laughs> Sam North, Career Ready Diploma, and American Welding Society, GMAW, and FCAW certification. <laughs> Riley Solon. Career Ready Diploma, Gold Work Key Certificate, and American Welding Society, GMAW, and FCAW certification. <laughs> Megan Wilson, Career Ready Diploma, Gold Work Key Certificate, American Welding Society, SMAW certification. And Megan is also my outstanding senior. And for my most outstanding junior, we have Michael Bushley. Our final two awards that we're going to present this morning are the Missouri CTE Certificates and then we will induct students into the National Technical Honor Society. Last year, the state of Missouri began issuing a CTE Certificate. The CTE Certificate can be earned in addition to his or her high school diploma. The requirements are intended to provide students with the necessary technical and employability skills to be prepared for an entry-level career or additional training in the technical field. 
Students must meet all of these requirements in order to qualify for a CTE certificate. They must meet all of their um, requirements by their Board of Education for a high school diploma. They must complete three courses in a single career and technical program of study. Maintain a minimum grade point average of 3.0 out of 4.0 in their CTE area of concentration. They must pass a technical skill assessment or an industry recognized credential in their CTE field. Complete 50 hours of appropriate work-based learning. Maintain at least 95% attendance throughout their high school career. Be active in a CTSO and achieve an approved score on the ACT, SAT, the ACT work keys, or the ASVAB. We have several students that we're going to um, recognize this morning. When your name is called up, you'll come across, you'll receive your certificate from, from Mr. Smith, and then get your picture taken. We have ordered medals for you to wear at graduation. When they arrive, hopefully today or tomorrow, we will get them to you that you can wear um, at graduation. Kyle Bassett. <laughs> Abigail Black. Savannah Blackburn. <laughs> Haley Breedlove. <laughs> Madeline Butler. Richard Carver. <laughs> Elijah Cochran. <laughs> Ramsey Cruz. Ivani Jones. <laughs> Mina Newsom. <laughs> Trenton Pinkston. Natalie Plemons. <laughs> Kaylee Shelton. <laughs> Carson Whittle. Megan Wilson. And Jordan York.
After the ceremony, we will take a group picture of everyone who received the CTE certificate, um, so don't run off when we're done. At this time, Mrs. Smith will preside over the National Technical Honor Society induction. All right, good morning. Um, the mission of the National Technical Honor Society is to honor student achievement and leadership, promote educational excellence, and enhance career opportunities. National Technical Honor Society is committed to promote the ideals of honesty, service, leadership, and skill development among America's future workforce, to reward scholastic achievement and career in technical education, to assist society members in their pursuit of career and educational goals, to help to build and maintain a stronger, more positive image for career and technical students, programs, and schools in the local community and throughout the nation, and to encourage the practice of high standards of personal and professional conduct. Um, the selection criteria for the National Technical Honor Society um, is as follows. Um, complete at least three credits in career and technical education, a B plus or higher in all career and technical education classes, be a member of a career and technical student organization such as DECA, FBLA, FFA, HOSA, um, or SkillsUSA, um, a 3.0 high school GPA or higher, and a teacher nomination. So, um, when your name is called, please come up to the left-hand side to receive your certificate and medal, then exit on the right side, have your picture taken, and then line up in front of the stage. Uh, once all students have received their certificates and medals, we will say the National Technical Honor Society Pledge. Okay. So, we're going, going to start. Um, Abigail Black. Okay, Savannah Blackburn. <laughs> Haley Breedlove. Hey, Richard Carver. <laughs> Elijah Cochran. <laughs> Ramsey Cruz. Isaiah Fajardo. <laughs> Haley Humphrey. Kenzie Humphrey. Okay. Avani Jones. Okay. Abby Latham. Hannah Moore. <laughs> Brianna Moat. <laughs> Mina Newsom. Thank you. 
Okay, thanks. Sorry. Okay. And I was just told I skipped one. Um, sorry about that. Kaylee Douglas. My apologies. Okay, uh, Natalie Plemons. <laughs> Abigail Pally. Trey Pointer. Hey, Ashton Price. Abigail Shattuck. Kaylee Shelton. <laughs> Riley Solon. <laughs> Mackenzie Spangler. Hunter Steele. Chelsea Vina. And Carson Whittle. And there's two more, Megan Wilson and Jordan York. And when everyone um, gets down in front of the stage, um, inside the packet that you were given, um, there is a pledge. So um, again, once everyone is, is down in the front, we will recite that. Um, all right, guys, here we go. Um, as a member of the National Technical Honor Society, I pledge to maintain the highest standard of personal conduct. I will apply myself to continue a record of scholastic achievement, and I will strive for excellence in all aspects of my education. I will invest my talents, my skills, and my knowledge in a career of my own choosing, and shall always endeavor to uphold my obligations at a, as a citizen of my community and my country. So I now recognize you as inducted members of the National Technical Honor Society. Congratulations, guys. We will take a group picture of you guys in just a second. Um, as we close, I would like to thank you all for joining us. Students, thank you for choosing to come to WCC, for in, um, letting us invest in you. We appreciate you and we look forward to the juniors returning next year. 
Parents, thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. I hope you were able to see some of the wonderful things that your students are doing here. And at that, we will close. All of our students stay put for just a little bit. If you want pictures or your parents want different pictures, we are free to do that. Um, but we'll take a group picture here and then we'll get a group picture of the CTE certificate. Thank you.